Alright, so what is poppin' everybody? Uh, Sega Fire Negro, the boy Nick over here, and um, I'm battling against Gal, the uh, leader of the Pokin Arena boards. Uh, in the description section below, I've been like plugging them every time there's a Pokin video and stuff like that. And uh, I think um, he also, he's also Weavall May, and so we were like, yo, let's play Weavall did us. I'm okay, cool, but today, this video right here, um, it, it, it kind of put me, it kind of made me like, think of a whole new way of playing Weavile or playing with Weavile is one of those things where um like you have to understand Weavile is a very 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 offensive character like you have to be on their ass 24-7 like Weavile so playing this game honestly brought like new light to me and how I played and how it like uh, implemented into the style and shit but I think one of the biggest things that I have to uh take into consideration is the taunt now, the thing about the taunt is, you know, um, obviously, uh, people sleep on the taunt. You know, people don't know what the taunt does. But for anybody that's, like, really looking at the whole entire fight, uh, what taunt does is it baits you into hitting you. And when you hit it, it activates the Shadow Claw and you go for the knockoff right after. That's what Gal did to me. And I guess he punished me in a lot of bullshit, um, which, he put, which he was supposed to do. But, like, you can see in this entire fight, I, I, was, just in a, I was just outclassed. I feel like Gal... Um, honestly, put me in my own fucking, like, he, he put, he sat me the fuck down, because what, what he did was, um, he timed everything perfectly, like, in the field phase, um, I feel like that's, uh, we vows, if not his, uh, best phase, one of his, like, most damaged, no, nah, I wanna say, I wanna say the field phase, I wanna say, I wanna say dual phase is where he shines more, actually, but in the field phase, I kinda just learned he can do a lot more. But um, in the dual phase, uh, the taunt feature. The taunt feature is very important because what it does is it makes you want to hit your opponent. And once it activates the Shadow Claw, you can, I want to say, not combo that, but you can pull off a uh, um, a knockoff uh, trick right then and there like while the opponent is falling and they get extra damage. Now, what people don't know is the uh, knockoff, the knockoff feature, what it does for Weavile, is it knocks off... Uh, half of the not half but like a chip of the opponent's um synergy gauge I didn't know that at all until Gal told me so I'm just sitting here like yo what the fuck is happening I'm sitting here like am I about to get like really destroyed right now by my nigga Gal and I just wasn't ready I was I honestly was not prepared at all I, if anything I was like I said I was outclassed um it made me think of how to it made me uh think about how to utilize uh Weavile in his entirety into my playstyle, and not just you know, not just uh, not just for some temporary shit, but just all around. Because when Gal showed me the whole like uh, what was that the whole shadow the taunt into um, shadow knockoff, it it was one of those things where it was like, wait a minute, I'm about to get destroyed. I'm about to get body. Like when he showed me that, I was just like, yo, I gotta implement this somehow. I gotta implement because like some people like to just mash buttons. And it's one of those things where um, I was actually reading the uh, Weavile Discord and one of the guys was like, that taunt means to not mash buttons because if you're mashing buttons, that taunt will punish the fuck out of you because that Shadow Claw does so much damage and then follow with the knockoff, it's game over 100%. I just, I just didn't know because I'm like, a, like, like I said, a lot of people like gas me up for having like a dope ass Weavile, but um, it was one of those things where... Um, where if anything, I'm kind of just putting in shit. I'm j honestly just kind of just putting in, setting up strings and shit, trying to get as much damage as I can. You know, just, just don't going ahead and doing shit. But this battle, this fight taught me how to keep the pressure on my opponent, but not rush it. You know, because a lot of people can punish you. Even your own character can punish you for, like, taking advantage of that shit. Like, you see in the second round, like... He's taunting me as I'm, like, going for several moves and shit, and I'm just not catching him on it, and I, and I suck at it. And it's one of those things where I just was outclassed. I was not ready for, for anything that was about to happen. I wasn't ready for, um, for, uh, for the fight at all. I wasn't. I was sitting here thinking, like, okay, he's probably going to be, like, a little bit better, or he's going to play exactly how I do. And it turns out he plays, like, a whole different like tier it's on a whole different level just off of like punishment you know what i'm saying like, he, like if anything we've all plays the same it's just how you utilize the character 
And I think that's that's same can be said about every other character. You know, I kind of want to pick up certain other characters and shit like that because you know we've all did those are all cool and everything, and we've all is a dope ass character and all. But at the same time, I kind of want to have like another character in my belt. But it's just one of those things where I just wasn't ready. I just wasn't. I was not ready for any of the bullshit that just kind of happened. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for this fight. I got it. I got honestly. It's one of those things where I could have like just left this fight alone and not like have this, not record this bitch in the archive destruction. But I feel like if I did that, you wouldn't understand the the. the sh I got my shit pushed in. I got caught on every single punish. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do shit at all. But with that being said, though, I think um, it's one of those things where I just gotta learn how to play better with my character and like play a lot more patiently but still apply the pressure to people with my characters so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy like comment and subscribe and that's gonna be for this episode or this video i'll see you guys later bye